Kofa means go back and fetch it. That's the literal interpretation. You need to know where you've been, where your people have come from, and the accomplishments that they've made. And when I come to Sankofa, I come to the best school in the United States of America. You can't go to school in the United States of America and get a coherent understanding of the African uh, American experience without somehow uh, touching base with uh, the culture, the experiences of people who have uh, created uh, the very fabric of the American society. And Sankofa has tried to do that better than anybody else.
owners of knowledge. You can't come into Sankofa, Chile, and not realize that these children own this knowledge. Okay. They own these drums. They own this uh, African dance. They own the Zulu Declaration. They, they feel the sense of ownership. And in other schools throughout this nation, African children sit in the schools as guests, even if the schools are all black. But we are African people had to be viewed and must view themselves as agents in the world and as actors in the world. And everything we do and all information that we uh, acquire, whether it's information uh, in, uh, in science, information in different parts of the world, we ought to view ourselves as agents in the world. As <clears throat> children and their children's children will never forget. We must all learn from the past so as not to forget those things that have kept us back for over 500 years. So intense interest and location determined by symbols, motifs, rituals, and signs. And you already see that here. A commitment to finding the subject place of African people <laughs> in any lesson. Plan. Third, a defense of African cultural elements as historically valid in the context of art, music, and literature. Fourth, a celebration of centeredness and agency 
and a commitment to lexical refinement that eliminates pejoratives about Africans or other people. And fifth, a powerful imperative from historical sources to revise the collective text of African people. That's what we have to do. You, you want to find agency, but you also want to seek uh, to place the student in the center and attach the student to the subject. Whatever that subject is that you're teaching, if you're a good teacher, you try to relate what you are teaching to the uh, student, and you try to bring them together. You try to show that there's a connectedness between that subject and the student. And you saw it again, evidence with the young people. It, we, we have never, in the African history, in terms of our culture, if you go all the way back to the ancient Egyptians, when you saw the images often of the kings, you would see them right to the queens. Research from inside the culture. When we are talking about our cur curriculum, I think that the study of our children is <coughs> fundamental to understanding how to educate our children. And this is where the work of Harriet and Asa come in, this work where you, you look at the, what's the character of our children? What's the personality? What's the learning styles of our children? What's their background? When you do that, then you come up with this whole notion of research of inside the culture. Teaching man, where he uses music, dance, and whole body movements to teach children multiplication tables, addition, subtraction facts, and even how to spell the numbers. Let's go, let's do my water, let's go. Can't hear you. That's better. for holidays, for culture, and respect your own philosophy. There's also the school building, the, the, the way, I mean, this is part of the curriculum, is the environment, uh, part of the, the teachers of it, part of the curriculum. I mean, there, there are a lot of things go into curriculum, so it's just not the scope and sequences of what's offered in the classroom. And what the Afrocentric schools are attempting to do is to start in the first and the kindergarten, K, pre-K. To get these young people to at least realize that who they that who they are, that their culture is significant and valued. Who else? Who else? Good job, adults. is a lack of collective cultural esteem. Sometimes they don't like being African. You go to urban community, black teachers, and, and the urban communities, and, and if the schools are not Afrocentric, the information is information that is, in a way, given uh, as if our children are not even sitting in there. So if they're talking about social studies, our children are sitting in the classroom but they are outside of the information. If they're talking mathematics, our children are sitting in the classroom, but they are outside of, of the mathematical history or experience. They don't even know that the very first books of mathematics were African books. The third thing is that we offer an experiential program, which means that we get the children out of the school building as much as possible and provide them with real life experiences. You have activities and you get awards for what you do. And at other schools, they'll give you a good job, a handshake. You know, you did you did all right today, Stanley. Let me tell your mom, something like that. But that's not cool for not only do, sometimes do they tell your mom, but they tell you and they also give you rewards stuff. Well, what I like most is that they teach us about our African culture. And we need to, we need more Sankofa schools so we can go back and regain our African resources. I like uh, the classes all, I like them all, because they teach you different stuff each day. They teach you definitions of math, what, it, what, what math is about. They help you learn to read and 
They teach you like science experiments, how the how the Earth uh, orbits around the sun. School's been uh, quite good to me. Bringing the gift that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise.